Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. It's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a really neat demonstration for you. I think you're going to find it really kind of fun. What we're going to be doing today is what we call quick and easy with allium. Quick and easy with allium. Yes, allium. Allium is a great flower. It's a big flower. There are a number of varieties of them. Some of them are whiter. Some of them are a little more towards the purple color. It's a great, uh, great flower. It's a big flower with generally a fairly long stem. And many people, when they see allium, automatically assume that you've got to make something big and something complex. And you know something? It's great to make the big and complex designs with this. But the purpose of today's demonstration is we're going to show you how you can take a single allium and come up with something interesting and neat and not have to work too hard at it. That's why I call it quick and easy allium. Now, at its easiest, we could simply take a piece of allium, poke it into a container, finish the base off, and call it a topiary. But let's play with this a little bit more, because what we're going to do is we're going to jazz it up and make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to take my allium, and next to my allium, I'm going to place a few stems. Where do the stems come from? From other alliums that we've uh, played with or from other things that we have. Typically, if you're a busy floral designer, you're going to find that you end up having all kinds of stems left over from other things. I happen to have a few stems here that happen to be from some mini sunflowers um, that we used in a demonstration just a few minutes ago that we uh, uh, taped. So I have a few extra stems there. And then let's play with a few other things too. Uh, one of the neat things is that we have all kinds of great foliage in our flower shops available to us. And if you're a hobbyist, you can pick some of these things up at uh, your local florist or your mass marketer. And what we've done is we've taken some of our foliage and then just taken a little of it and cut it up a little bit. We don't have to go with the original way that the foliage looks. The latest trend that we're teaching here at Rittner Floral School is to take our foliage and to cut it and shape it and come up with all kinds of interesting effects with it. So let's add a couple pieces of our foliage that have been already altered and shaped a little bit. And then to create a focal point in our design, we're going to use a little, uh, a little flower made using some of our salal or lemon leaf. It gives a very interesting little effect. And then so that the design doesn't feel uh, totally rigid, let's take a little piece of curly willow and work it in. And so we've got a little curly willow here to give us a little bit of contrast and a little curve over there. I'm going to finish my design by taking a little bit of our sheet moss and pinning it in so that it has a nice finished flavor to it. You see, you can come up with something that is very, very quick, something that's very, very easy, doesn't require a whole lot of effort, just with a few design elements. An allium, a few stems, a couple of pieces of foliage, a little flower designed using some of our uh, salal or lemon leaf, and then we've got ourselves a simple, quick and easy design using allium. Well, that, that was fun. Let's try another one. If we can do one, we certainly can do two. And so, my viewer, let's play with this one more time. I'm going to start once again with a container. I'm going to take another one of my great allium. And incidentally, these allium that we're using are courtesy of a great outfit called Blooming and Belloit in Belloit, Wisconsin. The folks at Blooming and Belloit in Belloit, Wisconsin uh, have some incredible allium that they provide. And we're very, very thankful to them for making these things available to us uh, for this demonstration. And I'm going to take some of my allium. Again, place one piece here in the center here of my container. And again, while I could stop at this point, I'm not going to. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. To play with it a little bit more, once again, I'm going to use the trick of taking a few pieces of stemming and work a few stems in and around my original because it just gives a different kind of an effect visually. And then let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we've got something very interesting. This stuff is called Spirea. Spirea. It is another great product available through the folks at Blooming of Belloit, Belloit, Wisconsin. It is just incredible. It comes in these just incredible uh, branches that have these lovely little blossoms. It's pretty. It's interesting. And so we're going to take a few of our Spirea. And we're just going to work it around here very quickly. It gives a very, very neat effect. 
and you can see once again we're coming up with something that is very very different in feeling than simply a single flower sticking out. Once again uh, we could stop at this point if we wanted to but wait there's more let's play with it a little bit more I have some of this very very cool curly willow curly willow is just a great material curly willow is stuff that we love playing with as designers because we can do all kinds of neat things with it so I'm taking a little bit of my curly willow here I'm placing it into my design and notice how this is giving us kind of a cool curved effect to give us contrast with the rigidity of our allium and that gives us a really really neat kind of contrast once again it's always considered good workmanship to finish our mechanics and so I'm taking a little bit more of my moss and I'm placing it into my base and working it in and around where my flowers are on my baseline and so you can see fun with allium quick and easy these designs are not small these designs are about 18, 20 inches tall. They're not teeny tiny. And yet, look at how quickly we put them together. And that's the whole idea. Here at Rittner Floral School, we believe in teaching you floral designing so that you too can do things quick and easy. So, go out, consider, get allium, get this stuff, play with it. Play with all of your foliages around it. Mix different kinds of flowering branches around it. Play with some of your curly willow to give us contrast in terms of curves as well as straight lines. These things are wonderful to play with. They're great. And we appreciate the folks of Blooming of Belloit in Belloit, Wisconsin for making the Allium available to us and the Spirea available to us. We think these things are wonderful products and we hope that you guys go out and get these things and play with them. On behalf of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass., I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. It was a pleasure welcoming you into one of our classrooms today. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration, and we hope to see you soon taking a class here at Rittner Floral School in Boston. Thank you.